So today we're going to have an honest discussion. Notice the emphasis on the word honest discussion about the efficacy of masks and against viruses in general. And uh, we're going to talk a bit about uh, diet. We're going to talk about health and a little bit uh, about other things as they pop into my head. And uh, so, you know, and we'll, I'll stay to those topics. There won't be, uh, well, I mean, you could, we'll get to it. Let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to hit on, and these are recommendations by Dr. Chris Masterson and also Dr. John Campbell on YouTube. I encourage you to watch both those channels, although I like uh, Chris Masterson. Now, he's heavily censored on YouTube, so you really want to go over to his website at Peak Prosperity, and he has some in-depth discussions about masks and uh, other topics, and he was on the uh, the virus from the, from the very beginning. Uh, he was the first person that I know of to put forward the uh, lab theory because he is a micro... I think he's like a microbiologist. I'm not sure exactly what, but he's a, let's just say he's a smart dude. <laughs> so the first thing recommended highly by Dr. John Campbell, and let me just sit down on the ground here. Yeah, so we can get, a, get the camera a little more on him, is vitamin D. And that is so important against viruses. Uh, so, both John Campbell and Chris Masterson, uh, they are always talking about it. Now, I live in Florida, so I get a lot of vitamin D from being out in the sun. And you know I love to hike. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit there. And uh, so the next thing, I try to put these in order of importance, is uh, zinc. Zinc is very important, both the treatment of the virus and also in prevention, from what I understand. I'm not a doctor, and this isn't medical advice. I'm just telling you the things that I do. Um, there's... And I'm not even sure how you pronounce that. If I hadn't seen it on one of Chris Masterson's videos, and I'd never heard of it, but it's Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I-N, quer quercetin. Uh, um, and then he also recommended, uh, I believe NAC is short for niacin, and then the super selenium complex. And then I added two things that I take, which is organic uh, milk thistle, and that's good for your liver. Uh, and it also it has a common infect if you have anxiety from what I understand um, works for me anyway uh, and then you got the uh, a complete multivitamin and there's been studies both for and against a multivitamin uh, most of it you just pee out you know so it's uh, but they're so cheap or they were you know without inflation uh, you know I just throw one in every now and then when I when I feel like I haven't eaten right and I uh, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. So let's uh, let's just get going. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, probably the most controversial topic, so we'll get that out of the way first, is uh, masks and do they work? Okay. Now I'm not a doctor. This ain't the doctor's advice. Um, but I'll just tell you there was a study back in uh, 2008 about the. Uh, the use of masks in a mass, you know, a, ma a populous environment, you know, where there's a lot of people around, let's just put it that way, and the prevention of the flu. And uh, what they found out didn't really work. So uh, that's why for, for many years we've just lived with the flu virus uh, because uh, we haven't found a way to prevent it other than the, you know, there is a flu vaccine and I have taken that. Um, you know, that we get each year because it's always a different strain of the virus. And you're seeing the same thing with the with the new virus. Let's just put it that way. Got to be careful what I say. Because the flu virus mutates each year. And so they're always having to adapt that vaccine to what they think is going to be the virus of the year. Because <laughs> you know? I don't know about you, but even with the, uh, the flu shot... I've still gotten the flu, you know, so it's, uh, does it work 100% of the time? No, it does not. Just like the, uh, looks like the new uh, jab doesn't work 100% of the time. And in fact, it seems to be even less effectual because uh, it seems like people are getting it 
within a short period of time after getting the jab but uh, that's just my observation anyway so we have evidence that the wearing of masks with a mask study was ineffective against the flu now you make of that what you will the other thing is uh, there have been mask um, uh, st uh, doctors and people that have come out against mask wearing because they say those cloth masks uh, people well, number one no, nobody wears them right if you have a quarter inch gap on either side okay remember a virus is not bacteria bacteria is actually a pretty big you know as you know you can't see bacteria and I can't see it but you know it's a pretty big particle and masks will work I mean like if you sneeze into a mask it's going to catch all of that for the most part you know but some is still going to spew out the sides with that quarter inch of gap or out the top and the bottom so the wearing of cloth masks doesn't really work okay now if you have an n95 mask that would work real well how many people are wearing those okay plus we got to save them for the medical professionals anyway but from what I understand on those, those only work to protect you, okay? See, when you're wearing a cloth mask, you're protecting the people around you from a, like a sneeze or, well, even a cough to a certain degree. But it's, even that, they're saying it just spews out the sides, you know, uh, singing, breathing, you know, uh, talking, you know, all these things, you're always, you know, things are coming out. So... So really, you know, the wearing of masks, and especially in a, well, you know, they've talked about it in an indoor environment, is really not effective because no matter what, that virus is coming out of everybody's uh, mouth when they're, you know, how many times, how many restaurants, I mean, if you live in a Democrat state, I know your restaurants aren't open, but here, you know, they're packed in Florida. And uh, you go in that restaurant and, you know, there's a hundred people in there or whatever, uh, and of course, here, you know, we, we don't have the masks on for the most part because everybody's eating. That's another thing. <laughs> All these double standards. <laughs> if you're eating, you don't wear a mask. You know, if you're in Walmart at Subway, you don't wear a mask. Even in a Democrat state. Because that, that was in Virginia, you know, because I had a Subway at, at Sub at the, in the Walmart. And they said, I said, well, how can I eat my Sub if I got a mask on? And they said, well, no, you don't have to wear it if you're eating. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You see the idiocy, the lunacy? All right. So that's kind of it about masks. That's about all I want to say. You do what you want. Um, I do think you're providing some protection to the people around you, but not much. And you certainly don't need to wear it outside. Let's just put it that way. The, the other thing was there's been a study also with talking about masks because these kids, you know, they're in school. Now, what's a kid? He's a walking, breathing <laughs> virus ridden you know bacteria spewing machine you know hell I used to play in a sewer when I was a kid I mean can you imagine what I was spewing out I mean you know so uh, so there you know so what's what's happening is is they've got those masks on at school and they're breathing in their own germs you know so they breathe out and it catches all that bacteria and then they breathe in and that bacteria goes back in well it used to be that bacteria just went out and I uh, you know it didn't come back in and it it dies pretty quickly in the uh in the air even in an indoor environment uh you know if they've got some sort of cold or something they could give it to the other kid that's why you know when 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 the when there's a common cold going around that's why everybody would get it you know but it's not deadly well to some it is if, you, if you've got comorbidities or more more built morbidities okay so uh so wearing that mask for the kids now for sure it's very very harmful uh plus it's also mentally harmful can you imagine uh, if you're a, a teenager or even you know in, in elementary school and you're forced to wear a mask all day and that's another thing i don't think those kids are being real good about wearing those masks you know i see people all the time with the mask down here and their nose is uncovered because it does i mean i've tried wearing it for a period of time i couldn't do it it it, I got claustrophobic, man. I just, I'd pull it down and just let my nose hang out, you know, whenever people weren't looking. And then when I, when I get, this is back when people were really crazy about this stuff. And then when they, when they were looking, I'd just pull it back up.
I'm sure the kids are doing the same thing, probably going into the bathroom, taking their masks off. They'll be taking those masks off at every opportunity they can get, I can guarantee it. <clears throat> All right, so that's enough on masks and my philosophy there and what I have learned. Now I'm gonna put some links in the video down below of some doctors talking about the uh, e efficacy of, of mask wearing and, and how they don't feel it really does any good in a, in a pop, you know, populist type of environment. The, uh, the other thing is uh, it's, it's power. The wearing of masks is all about power. And the, the biggest evidence of that, okay, was, uh, and I was infuriated, and I hope you were too, okay, was they just had that big uh, gala for all the Hollywood uh, bigwigs, and, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Cortez, Cortez was there in her tax the rich dress. I don't know if you saw that on the news. It was, it was absolutely absurd, but uh, none of them had masks on, and they said, well, that's because they've all supposedly been vaccinated or uh, or I were tested for the virus or something. That's what they were saying anyway. I doubt it. I doubt any of that's true. But the fact, the thing that infuriated me was, did you see their disdain for the help that was there taking care of them and serving them and bringing them drinks and everything? They all had masks on. They made their servants wear masks while they didn't wear any. That was just their disdain for them. They just wanted to show their power. These are egomaniacs, man. And the same thing for the, the, the Democrats in the party or whatever. You know, when you see, you'll see photos, you can go around the internet. There's all kinds of photos where they're at events or uh, Biden's walking into Jimmy Carter's house and he doesn't have a mask on. You know, that's two old people. Really, they should be <laughs> masking up if, that, if you're to believe everything. And so they're hypocrites. You know, they have those masks off whenever the news media is not around and they wear them as virtue signaling and trying to exert their power to get people to wear them. So, okay, that's, a, that's it on the mask. The other topics are easy, you know. And, and, and you'll, this, is, this is why I said we're having an honest discussion. Okay, I'm also going to put a link below. Brian Rand Paul, by the way, that's Dr. Rand Paul. Just want to emphasize that. He just barbecued one of those, uh, I think it was an HIS guy in front of uh, Congress about, you know, if you, if you catch a disease, how you have natural immunity, okay? And I'll, you, can, you can look at the disease that you want to talk about. Yeah, it, it was quite a, we got some people coming, hold on, let me not get them on the video. Howdy. So, uh, and he barbecued that guy. He says, you're gonna tell me that if somebody has had the disease, okay, you, you know what I'm talking about, that they have no natural immunity. He says, and, and actually people, from everything I've read and everything I've studied, you have much better immunity because the, R, the RNA jab <clears throat> only uh, blocks like a certain receptor for the virus to get into the cell and that's why it, it works somewhat, okay? If you've had the disease, it, uh, it actually, I don't really understand it. You'd have to study Dr. Chris Masterson, but it, I guess it blocks all, all sorts of avenues into the cell. And so these different variants, like the Delta variant, you have a much better chance of not getting it if you have had the disease. That's where herd immunity, that's why Sweden has done so well. They just, uh, they just let their people catch the virus. Now, did a lot of people die in Sweden? Yeah, yeah, but nobody's dying now. They're doing better than any other country in the world. From what I understand, <clears throat> so, and we'll put uh, we'll put a link below about that. So that's uh, that's I wanted to talk about the natural immunity, okay? And so they they're actually recommending that people who have natural immunity get the jab, and that's why I said we want an honest discussion. If you're going to be honest with yourself, and you know somebody who's had the virus, you're a lot safer around them than you are around somebody with the jab. And these are the, this is the information that should be coming out of our government, but it's not. They're, they just want to exert their power. You know, they, they're, they're egomaniacs. That's, that's all I can say, you know. The only thing that these people empower, it's like an aphrodisiac to them, you know, because they can, they can look around 
you know, and say, ah, I made them do that. I'm all powerful. I'm the all powerful eyes. So, okay, the, let's just get on to another topic, which is uh, health. Okay, so health wise, I'm going to swing it on around because I'm going to drop this backpack off at, at my car and then go for a long hike. So, there you go. So, what do, what do I do? Okay, I try to eat right, but I don't most of the time. So what I do is I have three supplements. I have to take Metamucil for uh, health reasons, you know, don't need to get into details about that. And then I get that, uh, that green powder. I just usually get it, you can get it at Walmart or, or Amazon. Uh, and I try to get the organic stuff uh, because it's supposed to, if you read the ingredients, it's supposed to have all kinds of, of greens and you know, good things down in there. Now, is that a supplement for real vegetables? No, not really. But since I don't eat vegetables every day, you know, drinking a glass of that mixed with the Metamucil, because the Metamucil takes, makes it taste better. And then here recently I added some uh, beet, beet powder, because beets are real, real good for you if you eat them. Now, I don't know if the beet powder is good. It's organic. But it's a quick way to get, you know, possibly some nutrients with that green powder between the green powder, the Metamucil, and the, and the beet powder. You know, and I try to drink that every day, you know. So that's, uh, that's, so eating right, of course, that's, that's all, the whole point of all this is, you know, how to get around eating right. Because you know you got, you know you're supposed to eat right. Uh, and boy, I tell you, it, and eating right's different for every person, you know. There's a woman on the internet, I can't remember her name, she's on a carnivore diet. <laughs> but you know what, it's, it works for her. She's talked about it, and uh, how can eating meat all the time be work you know work for your health but uh, for whatever reason you know maybe her ancestors were meat eaters and uh she inherited that gene whatever it is we don't know so got to figure out what works for you the uh the next thing and this is an obvious one you got to find your niche you know i used to play tennis pickleball and uh, go to the gym and swim you know and then when the virus hit, I didn't, one, I didn't want to be around people because, you know, a lot of people weren't taking it seriously at first. Then they got too serious about it. So it was just like, I just didn't want to be around people. So I had to get, you have to get your exercise people, however you want to do it. Go to the gym, uh, do what I do, go hiking or uh, go swimming, you know, whatever your niche is going to be. But you got to be. You got to be dedicated about it. You got to do it on a regular basis. Okay. So like, what am I going to do today? This park is about five miles long and I'll get to the other side and I'll get up on a picnic table and I do some stretches. Okay. And then I'll do some, uh, I call them uh, bench pushups because I can't do a regular push up anymore. I'm too, too weak because I haven't been in the gym lifting weights. Now, one thing I did just, just yesterday, I ordered some dumbbells. Now I had some, but they were too light. And what I do is I bring them out here with me and I just do this number, you know, bring it around this way, you know, while I'm hiking. So that should work on my upper body strength. So I knew I had to come up with something. And uh, I'll put a link below to the one that I bought. I, I don't know, and so, well, I won't, I won't do that in this video. I'll do it in a later one if I like them. Uh, it was the best one I could find on Amazon at a reasonable price and uh, you know, because you, you can go all the way up to $800 for a dumbbell set. You know, I only paid $73 for these. So that's it for this video. Let's do the, uh, let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in a Republican state with the great governor, free Florida DeSantis.